Matthew Bowling took the world of athletics by storm in 2019, being the biggest talking point of the season. Breaking the all-conditions high school record and defeating some of the most talented junior sprinters, not only in the United States, but all over the world, he has really cemented his name as one of the biggest prospects in sprinting at the moment. He went undefeated in both the 100 and 200 meters in 2019, setting an all-conditions record and winning the under-20 Pan American title in the process. So today we take a look at this young sensation to unravel the truth behind his next level speed. One of the most obvious factors for his dominance is his build. Just by looking at him compared to some of his high school counterparts, he had a body built like a natural athlete. His height in high school was 1.83 meters, that's over 6 feet tall. That's even taller than Lyles was, another sprinter who had dominated in high school. On top of that height he weighs 171 pounds, built with a lot of lean muscle mass. This might account for the fact that he is a very powerful sprinter. In fact he might be one of the most powerful high school sprinters in a while. After analyzing his all-conditions record run and his 10.11 run at the Pan American Games, his average stride length was 2.22 meters. This means that at some point in the race, he could have gotten somewhere to 2.3 meters or better. At that length he seems to have long and powerful enough strides to match even the elites, not very surprising for a 100 meters sprinter with his height. However while he does have a great stride length, he also has really fast smooth turnovers. To complement those powerful strides he has developed fast turnovers. On average he can garner turnovers as fast as 4.51 strides per second, which is as fast as Noah Lyles running away from Filippo Tordu and Raheem Chambers to win the World Junior Championships in 2016. Another important factor is his super speed endurance. While it is easy to say he has great top-end speed, one thing that may give him a distinct edge is that speed durability. It is more evident in the 200 meters, but we also see where it gives him the advantage in the 100 meters. This is one of the main reasons that helped him to defeat Oblique Seville at the Pan American Champs. Also at the second or championships we saw him won his 200 meters looking strong while everyone else was fading. This particular attribute is what makes some of the very best sprinters especially over 200 meters, the like of Tommy Smith, Michael Johnson, Usain Bolt, and the current world champion Noah Lyles. It is clear he has great speed, with a combination of 2.22 meters stride length with stride frequency of 4.51 strides per second, but his speed durability, or speed endurance clearly sets him apart from his opponents and may be a crucial factor if he is to be successful at the highest level. Even though he has accomplished quite a bit and has gone that fast already, he does have a few things he could work on to go even faster. Which is the most exciting thing about watching this young talent. For example, if he could lessen the lateral movement of his body in the 200 meters, along with learning to relax, we could witness an even more dangerous version of Matthew Bowling.